All right, it is now 12.15, the meeting is back to order. If you're standing around, please grab a seat. We have two items left. Mr. Blah, for what purpose, can I make the announcement, please? We have two items left. They are A.6, which is 4 and 6, and B.2.6, which is EPH+. Plus. That's all we have left. Uh, Mr. Blah. While uh, um, I feel that we were out of order with EPH because, and I'm not asking, I do not want to revisit it or revote on it, but I feel that there was no substantive debate on the underlying amendment itself the or ratification. I hold on, please. We, there was, the we, point we, of order is not well taken. We've passed the. I'm not asking, for, I'm not saying that. I'm just then, saying it's not a point of order. Then there's no point of making the point of order. Mr. O'Halloran, for what purpose does the member rise? Could somebody run him a mic? He does. Correct me if I get my phrasing correct. I'd like to move to resolve to thank the Hugo administrators and the team that reviewed EPH and its numbers and its stats, and in particular, Mr. McCarthy for all his work and staying up all night long to provide the report and the stats for us today. Is there any objection to that? Seeing none, so resolved. suspend the rules and uh, instruct next year's Hugo administrators to provide the long list both in the uh, original form that it would have been and the form that EPH provided. Has to be a, it, it's not a rule, it's just, just a resolution. Yeah, we can request, we can't tell them to do anything. <laughs> Mr. Quinn, for what purpose? Wait, do you, let me get this down here. I want to respond. Wait, wait till it's seconded and stuff. And they have a there, there, there was a second. Okay. It's a resolution of the business meeting to, re to request. Yeah. Do you, Mr. Kowalczyk, do you want to give an opening? Well, let him make an opening remark, and then you can, I assume that yours is a speech against. There are many people in the room who, who are still very confused about EPH, and um, in order to be able to rationally decide next year whether to suspend EPH for a year or do something else with it, vote it down in 2022, stand on our heads or whatever, more data is good. Um, unfortunately, we probably won't have as many printers in Helsinki as we had here, but um, I think it's really something this meeting needs and I think the majority of the meeting really likes this and I'm sorry that uh, some people think uh, computers are wonderful. Um, Mr. Quinn, did you? Uh, and then. Jameson Quinn, so that information is already in the information that would be given under EPH, I mean under EPH. The, the, the same information is included. It is a subset of the information. No, that's not what he's asking, Jeff. They wanted the regular count and then the EPH count. Yes. The, the resolution is requesting the administrators to run the data through both mechanisms. Right. And the regular count is part of what is used in EPH and thus appears in the EPH data. So what Mr. Quinn is saying is that the nomination counts are used in EPH and therefore, with a little work on their own personal end, members could back into it. But Mr. Kamal. Well, the same thing that Dave McCarty did here, basically. Right. Yeah. <laughs> to, to, to make the people who think EPH, to, to put the 
Okay, yes, yes. I, I, I understand. And Is there anyone wishing to speak I do not oppose. in favor of the resolution? Ms. Secor, please come to the microphone. I would request that if this meeting chooses to pass this resolution, it is with the understanding. Sure. Sorry, I thought I was close enough. I would like to request that the meeting keep in mind that this require that you would almost certainly prefer that we uh, request the cooperation of Mr. McCarty and Mr. Oakes to use the existing software to run the comparison, and that in order to do that, we are not only putting a burden on next year's Hugo administrators, but also on this year's Hugo administrators, at the very least, to provide the software and help us figure out how to run it. Because Otherwise, we have to roll two systems, and that's an intolerable burden on us. Yeah, that, that was, I'm going to rule that that was debate, not a point of personal privilege. Um, so I'm looking for a speech in favor of the resolution. Dr. Adams, you rose first. Yeah, Andrew Adams. The information from EPH will be quite complex to produce, but so will the, the process of, of doing it. The uh, original data um, is relatively simple to pull out from that, and this will not be a significant burden on the administrators next year, in my opinion. Is there anyone wishing to speak against the resolution? <coughs> Dr. Science? I think uh, we, must, we should be aware that EPH is, has a high chance of changing who gets the Hugo Awards for the dramatic presentation categories and for the art categories. It has happened, it, that's what happened with the 2014 data. Both the first and second place pro artists were knocked out by EPH. You, if you, although the data is easily derived, if you publish it, people will know who lost the Hugo, who deserved to win the Hugo and did. Can I get you? That, I, I'm not sure what the objection was, is that's debate on whether or not we should run. N no, that was a debate on publishing both sets of data. That is a perfectly germane debate. People's feelings. Is what All right, I'm going to ask for a speech in favor of the resolution. Mr. Ms. Hayes. Wait, uh, no, wait, I thought you were asking for a time now. Yes. Is, is there some manner in which we could get the opinion of next year's Co Hugo administrator about whether she supports If the she gains the floor, I haven't seen her try and gain it. Ms. Ms. Hayes, a speech in favor. I wish to speak in favor of this motion as we, earlier we passed a motion or part of a motion that we would re evaluate EPH. Therefore, we have to have something to reevaluate it with. So I would like to have this data available so that we can make some sort of intelligent decision. Ms. Fawcett, would you like a point of personal privilege? I guess so, yes. Um, my name is Colette Bizard, and I am Deputy Hugo Administrator for WorldCon 75. And uh, we, WorldCon 75 will be the first system to, first uh, through on EPH. And I'm just going to say I have not made any input on this because, uh, you know, we, the, the, the administrators and I, we will, of course, you know, we will implement EPH as, as now uh, required by the WISFIS Constitution. And um, I don't feel it's appropriate for me to give input on uh, to sway the, the, this debate of the membership. All right, I'm looking for a speech against the re Is there a second? Is there any objection to calling the question? Seeing none, <laughs> we're gonna call the question on the resolution requesting next year's Hugo administrators 